Hey guys, I'm Nina Dobrev and I'm in New York City getting ready for Dior's Guggenheim event. Very presumptuous that I'm excited about it. I am thrilled about it. I am over the moon. I am actually, I'm attending the Guggenheim event that Dior throws. I believe this is the sixth or seventh year that they've had this event at the Guggenheim, but it is my first time. It's extra special for me because as of today, I have officially partnered with Dior Beauty and I am beyond excited to be a new member of the family. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and I have a cool gold eye. <laughs> Usually the day of an event, I'll go for a run and sweat, and then I'll also steam, and maybe get a facial. But you really want to have a clean canvas for your makeup artist, Thank Danielle. You. She's actually really great with Pinterest and pulling out inspiration, and I feel like that translation is really nice for a makeup artist or a hairdresser because you have this clear vision of what it is that you want to do. So what we did was we structured out this really cool gold eye but i used surgical tape to really get that straight edge and then i really focused the gold because it's a gold liquid that's a holiday product from dior i focused it in the center of her eye and then on the outer edge of her eye and then in the middle i used my finger with a bronzier shadow just to create a bit of depth in low light especially tonight since it's a dinner you're really gonna see all of that the the glitter that picks up from the that dimension. gold. To be honest with you, day to day, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I like to let my skin breathe so that it's clear and, and clean and ready for an event and it doesn't get too clogged up. Um, but when I do have to wear it for meetings or if I have an event that I'm doing my own makeup for, I definitely steal tips that Daniel has taught me. Um, this being one of the, the biggest, most important ones, the beauty blender. I wet the beauty blender and dip it in the foundation and Dior's Forever Foundation is amazing. It really covers, but doesn't look cakey, and that's really important to me. Like, I never want it to look like I'm wearing too much makeup. So for the hair tonight, we wanted something super sleek, very chic and easy. Um, so we just went for the center part to keep it super modern. And then secu I secured these pieces back, so on the red carpet, it's super easy. She hasn't got to worry about it coming out or anything happening. When we're getting ready, I don't really get too stressed. I listen to music. Sometimes I'll have a cocktail, unless it's the Oscars that I've never attended. Um, I don't really get nervous, so I guess come back to me if I go to the Oscars, and then we'll talk about what I do to do stress. <laughs> I guess I was nervous that night because the dress is so big and it was so structured, and we were so worried about it wrinkling. So I had to get a stretch limo so that I could lay across the car so that the bottom of the dress wouldn't wrinkle. And it was really uncomfortable in Los Angeles traffic. It's a great ab workout now that I think about it. I remember I had the really long hair, kind of like my hair is now, it's starting to grow. Yeah. I cut it for, for a roll, for a film, to my, about That's, my chin length. Yeah. It's been growing like a weed. Yeah. I had the French bangs yeah. for the character as well. I really liked it for the role. I really love transforming for roles, but at the same time, as a human day to day, it was probably the most inconvenient <laughs> hairstyle that I've ever had. Cause I don't really know how to do my hair that well. I'm more of a makeup girl, not so much a hair girl. So I usually have like a great makeup application face in life. And then my hair will just look like Tarzan <laughs> or Chewbacca. <laughs> I think it's just cause I'm spoiled though. I think because I've worked with so many amazing hairstylists they kind of do their thing and I never really needed to learn how to do it. That's what I'm gonna blame it on at least. What do we want guys? Can we just do family style? What if I like order a bunch of things and we all yeah. kind of like pick Picks. and everything. That's perfect. Food is the most important thing and it dictates almost all of my decisions in life at all times. I have to eat like every couple of hours. You're Before good an event, eating. yeah, I always have to eat because you never know if the food at the event's gonna be good. So I always make sure to to show up full, and then I'll probably show you when I get there again. Okay, how do we feel about 
chicken wings and chicken fingers. Chicken fingers, yeah. Yeah. Some chicken fingers and French fries. I'm getting beef sliders with black truffle dressing. Mmm. Truffle. Daniel knows that he doesn't usually like finish the bottom of my face until she, the very, very, very end. Because she'll eat. Because <laughs> I'll or eat and something. mess it up, and you'll have to do it again. So this past Halloween, actually every Halloween, I kind of. I sort of like Halloween. I kind of go all out. I always want to do something that's kind of either pop culture relevant or funny or just like a, you know, I like it to be something silly and never, I don't often go for the whole sexy Halloween thing. This past year, um, it actually didn't take that long. Actually, Billy, was pretty easy because it was just green hairspray and I took um, paper, like paper towels and basically just put the paper towel here and then took a hair clip and then clipped it and on both sides and then just sprayed down the middle, waited till it dried and then took it off. Oh, the only thing that was actually challenging um, were the nails. I bought them from CVS and they were like stick on acrylic ones and you just like glue on the inside and you stick it on but they were clear so I had to paint them green first and I waited for that to dry, and then I had to stick them on, but you can only, like, they're so long that it was, like, kind of awkward and hard to do, and once you, like, stuck it, it stayed stuck, and then if you got glue somewhere else, it was, like, part of your body for the next six years. It was, like, a whole thing, but then when I woke up the next morning, still as Billie Eilish in every capacity, Amazing. including the nails, I had to go to a nail salon and get them removed professionally. Oh, no. And soak in, like, this acetone stuff, because it was so, the glue was so heavy duty. Red was a lot easier to do, surprisingly. Oh, actually one thing was hard about the, about the, the I had to A, find a dog, because I don't have a pit bull, and that dog in the movie is so iconic. So I ended up going to Zoe Deutsch's house and borrowing little Mabel, and um, the beard. I had a really hard time like getting that perfect five o'clock shadow with Mr. Bradley. So like these little spiky things, I would like dip it in the in the cream, and then I went. Oh, ouch! Yeah, it kind of hurt but a little bit. But it worked. But it worked. It looked like this. God. Oh, yep. Come on in. Come on in. Yay! Oh my god. This is heaven. I'm excited to get to go to the Guggenheim and have this intimate experience in such an iconic place. Um, tonight we'll be able to actually roam around and look at the artwork and check out the exhibition and that's what I'm probably most looking forward to. And just celebrating. I mean, I've been a friend of the brand for such a long time and it's really nice to officially kind of join the team and, and celebrate that. It's been a dream of mine since I was a little girl to work with Dior and my family, part of my family lives in France, so Dior is such a staple and such a iconic, sort of elegant brand, and it's just what I've always imagined as the most chic end game that you can possibly have, so it's exciting to be, um, to be in good company. All right, this is the final look, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'm off to the event, so see you guys later.